Okay, so I'm going to show you what I do to uh, set up my virtual learning for my elementary classroom. So I've launched my Zoom meeting, and here I am. You're going to see that there's two me's. That's because I have another computer as my monitor. So what I'm going to do is really I should set this up in settings, but I'm going to call this uh, monitor, and I'm going to call this uh, Miss Hayes. So where does it say rename here? Uh-huh. So that the kids can see everything and that I can keep track of what's what. Eventually, I will turn this camera on like this. Hi. Um, but for now, well, I guess I can leave it on. Anyway, um, so I've got these two cameras set up. It's 15 minutes before classes start. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my breakout rooms because my classroom is set up that we'll have large group meetings and then we'll have small group meetings. And so what I'm going to do is have those breakout rooms before the kids come in. I know there's a way to pre-assign by emails, but um, I've had a hard time doing that because the students have to use their student email and they're logging on from all sorts of different situations. So I just do it this way and then I sort the kiddos out once we're uh, in all together. But here's how I do it. I click on breakout rooms and let me just start all over again. I'm going to recreate. So I already know that I need five rooms. I'm going to assign each kid manually. Uh, I don't let them choose their room. I don't want to ch uh, choose automatically because I'm placing them based on, you know, what we're working on. So I assign them manually once I open up the breakout rooms and they're all in there. So here's my five rooms. In order to keep track, I name them. So I have my blue group. I have my orange group. Oops, orange. And I have my purple group. And then I also have a one-on-one -on -one room where I work with kids specifically on their goals. And I have my office. So like therapists will come in and, uh, or I'll just have to speak to a parent or something. I can just push them out. So there's my rooms. I'm going to go ahead and open them uh, because if I don't, I have to create them the next time again. So I'm going to open them. And what happens is all of the participants are going to be here under unassigned. So as they start joining, they'll be unassigned. Now, once I say we're going to break out into small groups, I can go ahead and assign my participants to whatever room I want them to go to. Okay. Once I click, since uh, I've already checked off, let me close these rooms. So here in options, you can check here. This has been a lifesaver for me. Allow uh, automatically move all the assigned participants into breakout rooms. Because you're always going to have people that don't know how to join a room. You don't want that hot mess. So as soon as I move them, it just it just pushes them over there. Okay, and then you get a um, you get an option to close your breakout room or to give them a countdown. I gave them the shortest amount of time because I want to be in charge of how quickly it takes for them to come back to my classroom. And the shortest amount of time that's predetermined here has been ten seconds. So, okay. So now I'm going to open all the rooms. They are ready. You see this little red button? It shows you the alert that this person, the monitor, has not been assigned. So I'll hide that in there. <laughs> anyway, um, watch. So if I decide that I'm going to move my monitor to my office, there it is. It takes a second, and you'll notice now there's only one screen. This is the main lobby, okay? And these are the breakout rooms, uh, and I'm alone in my main lobby. So now I'm going to join myself in my office. So I'm going to click join. Here I come. I am running into a breakout room and there I am having a meeting with my monitor. Hi monitor. You're so quiet and reserved. I wish you would say something. I don't know what's on your mind. <laughs> anyway, um, and then I can push us back out. Um, actually I can't, I have to close the breakout rooms to push us back out. So I'm going to close those breakout rooms. And see, it's got that countdown. So my monitor has been given a warning that it's got 10 seconds left. Now we are all returning together to the main session.